Hello and g'day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a book cloth that prevents the glue seeping through. If you've got a very fine book cloth like this, in this instance, I'm using an old handkerchief. Let's say I want to put it on this cover. It's going to be way too thin. Right, you can see there, you can see the book label through there. You can see if I stretch it out that it's just too thin to go on as a book cover. If I turn it into a book cloth, which I've done here, and I put that on there, you can only just see a hint of the label under there, but it's much stiffer and it's not wrinkling. I can't pull it in like I can on this side. I can, I can still pull all of that in because there's nothing backing it and holding it. Whereas this one here, it is. What I'm about to show you is a really good way to make your own book cloth at home. Whether you want to make it for a cover on the outside of your journal or just to cover the inside of your spine, you can do the same thing. This will help and stop the glue from seeping through when you put the glue on your fabric. In particular, if your fabric is very light. So you can see my hand through this fabric. So if you're going to recycle a, an old blouse or something that's very special to you and you want to use it on the journal that you're making, this is the way that you can help it not soak up the glue. You don't want to put glue on here. It'll go straight through. This is, this is a hanky, right? So it's very fine it will seep through. So you need your cloth. You need some tissue paper, preferably white, and you need some heat and bond, or in Australia, we call it bonder web. Now the bonder web is just an iron-on double-sided webbing. Okay, so the way it works, is you've got your cloth. You would then iron on the webbing and then you iron on the tissue paper over the top. Now that will turn this into a book cloth. You'll then be able to put glue on the tissue paper side of it and glue that down and you won't have as much trouble, if any, of the glue coming through to the outside and potentially ruining the beautiful fabric that you want to use for your journal. So I'll just iron this on and show you what it looks like. I don't need it to be quite that long. So I'm just going to shorten it a little bit because you don't want to get this stuff on your iron. Okay, so I'm going to put that there and I'm going to fuse that. Now this is the paper that comes on this. So when you buy this, it comes already on this piece of paper. So when I cut this out and to show you, it just come off. So cloth down, the webbing on the top, the paper that comes with the webbing over that and just press that on. It doesn't take much to heat set it on because it's very thin. It's not a, a thick fuse. It's not a thick medium to to heat set so just make sure it's heat set on and then you peel it off you can wait for it to cool down a bit if you like and we'll just peel that off and look how fine that is you can you can barely see it but it's there you can just see it all right, now we're going to come along and we're going to get the tissue paper. I'm going to, some tissue paper's got a rough side and a smooth side. Put the smooth side down. 
making sure that it's covering all of that fusing. It's got to cover it the whole lot. And just iron that on as well. You can sort of see there where it's changed colour a bit. That's where it's fused and that's where it's free. And I can just remove that bit later on. Make sure it's on there. Good. So now we've got a quite a still flexible. It is still very flexible. I can still make it go inside the spine or you know, around the outside of a spine if I wanted to put it on a soft cover to make a fabric cover. But that will now be good enough for me to get another piece of fabric and put on this side of it as a lining. So that just will help me have something to now glue to another lining piece of fabric. All right, so say that was going to be the outside of our fabric. That might be our vintage blouse even. And then we get our lining fabric and we would glue those two pieces together. So you would put the glue on this side of the fabric and then you would glue those two pieces together. So that's the outside cover of your journal and the printed fabric would be your lining. So then you would just put a nice stitch around the edge. So that is how you would make a, like a faux book cloth. I'm Donna, thanks for watching and bye for now.